to ground inside B, because the gyro just stops you. <laughs> as far as I can remember, at least. Well, we were seeing uh, him play Bayonet against Sheik. Uh, we weren't seeing a lot of side Bs when he wasn't already pretty close to it. Mm -hmm. Then again, Sheik is very different play style. Sheik, you want to be close, so... Yeah, he, does, he doesn't seem to need those grounded side Bs, though, to get these combos started. Chris actually going fairly aggressive. Yeah. Nice punish for the for the downer there. Kind of waited for it and then gets another up B in there. Oh, VSD. Unfortunate SD there. the back here there to close out the stock. Not quite close enough to get the uh, to get the actual witch time off. Yeah so all these setups not really not really working on um not really working on Chris at all. Because as soon as Spreader just gets the gyro out, Chris is getting it right out of there. And that might take this. No, not, not quite. quite. Ooh, no tech. Chris takes the first game. Immediate pick up town and city, as kind of expected. Yeah. So yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. The grounded side B just completely yeah. stopped. Well, these characters we're seeing a lot of their strong tools in the neutral are proving not really that effective. Effective because, like I said, we're seeing the gyro get out of it, uh, be removed from play pretty quickly. And we just saw the side B not work. Oof. This seems to very much be a matchup of uh, get a slight advantage and then just carry that as far as you can. And that up air did not look like it should have hit, <laughs> but. Uh, barely catches him. It's possible that Bayonetta's model was extended due to some animation. Impossible. Death? Not, Not quite. quite. He doesn't land the other. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just uh, Rob's up the, the last hitbox is a bit bigger than the other ones. A, a lot of moves do that. A lot of multi hit moves. Oh, okay, and that should be it? Okay, yeah. yeah. Just Almost throwing a jab in there, just, oh. just to make sure it killed. Well, other, yeah, otherwise um, otherwise it clanks with the smash attack. So you have to you have to put some move in there, otherwise, uh, otherwise you're not really going to get anything but damage. Chris 
Chris is a bit behind, but not by a ridiculous amount. And we saw early in the match, earlier in the matches, he, he can bridge this gap with one or two Oof. good combos. It was for a hard went, up smash. Went for a... Ooh. That's not going to kill yet. It sounds to be small, but it's not that small. That and that will take it. it, yeah. That evens out to 1-1. One, one. Beep boop, too good. And we did switch to Battlefield, yep. attention to that gyro and being sure to get it out of there as soon as we can. Yeah, Chris is doing a really good job of, of covering his options after like every every different movie does. Up here it doesn't connect though. Ooh, kind of just dancing yeah. around the stage and Ooh, gets a was nice. kind of a yeah. unexpected witch time there. Yeah. We've seen both players play pretty safe. Ooh, Fredish, Ooh these reads. Yeah. Oh my Fredish god. Fredish is trying to hang back and just rack up damage from a distance, uh, whereas Chris isn't going in uh, until he knows it's more or less safe. Like you said, he's covering his options really well. And a lot of these moves are quite hard to punish by themselves, so... Yeah. Yeah, like, like uh, goes goes off the stage with the neutral air and he immediately up to... Yeah. ...to stop any... ...any potential edge guards. Ooh! And that up smash will take it. Just a bit behind you, behind here, but still possible to make it back. Oh, and back air. Oh, back and that's good it. di, but he does uh, he doesn't need to take it. Yeah, not really going to get much off of that witch time. Yeah, especially so early. And high up in the air. <laughs> my, my theory for why Frederick chose the stage is he saw that uh, uh, the platforms were basically just providing Chris more opportunities to start with that side B. Yeah, just tons of cover. Yeah. And I think in this game we'll be seeing a lot more, um, a lot more neutral air. Yeah, because what we're seeing right there is uh, Chris just can't just go around the gyro, he, he has to go through it, he has to get rid of it. So Frederick is actually waiting for the up B that time, but uh, not quite getting it right. 
And, oh, no tech, but he's robbed, so he probably won't be dead. Okay, <laughs> kind of just, just he's randomly he's which time's the gyro. Goes to the back air out of that side beam. Oof. Chris just all over. Footstool there actually did set up for a grounded side B. Is it 2% so for a grounded side B to lead into much, though, at this point? So now Chris is mostly just waiting for that opportunity to close out the stock. But, Fre but Fredonish potentially only needs a grab as well, so... Yeah. Because that is a lot of rage. Chris is looking for right now is uh, back air because or a forward throw. Forward throw. You got it kind of a bit too close to the stage for it to really do much. Oh, and there's, there's, the there's that back air. And uh, now we'll get it. Yeah, that'll yep. kill. Yeah. All right. Even it up real quick. Oh, dang! That was sick! Reading the air dodge. Just... Just going off the stage, neutral air, up with up B. He just went oh, for it. Oh, he's still off 